Music is vibrant. Historical. Essential. Unreal. Love. Rockin'. Magical. Inspirational. Essential. A lifestyle. Awesome. Music is a part of the, the county, rather than it being just an entertainment adjunct. I think that one of the things that's different about playing in Marin is that there's a lot more awareness here of uh, diverse cultures. Well, you know, as with almost any type of art form, uh, Marin County has always just seemed to be a magical, creative place. And people are congregating to Marin to play music, so there's musicians everywhere. I, it was it wasn't a question of whether you played music, it was a question of what instrument you played, because everybody played music. Uh, and everybody wants to record, you know, it's not necessarily... Originally it was, hey, let's just play. But when it's live, it takes on a character that you cannot get in the recording studio, in most cases. And you certainly don't get that out of a number of songs. You may, in the recording studio, catch a certain element here and there. But the live performance, particularly for a good performer, is a unique thing that doesn't exist. As a matter of fact, live music is the only live art there is. You left a little ripple of happiness in someone's day if they were enjoying what they saw and that would resonate to them, to their community. You like this, you like this little explosion of happiness wherever you go. So here we are, we've been human for how many thousands of years making music, and there will turn out to have been one century in which we had this idea that music was a commodity. One thing that makes Marin unique is actually the number of music performance venues that we have relative to our population. From Rancho Nicasio to Knightsbridge to uh, George's to Charlie's, uh, Puerto Madero Rec Center back in the 60s was actually a uh, Bay Area-wide venue, and there were groups like the Ventures and and uh, uh, the Temptations, and all these groups played Puerto Madero Rec Center. If you, really, you walk in there now, you've got Jesus. This is holds 200 people. Obviously, there's a big rock and roll legacy here that was kind of unique. In fact, one one Sunday there was a band that was playing for the first time, and they, God, it just sounded terrible. And we were all, who are these guys? And uh, they uh, they just come up with their name and uh, said, oh, they got this weird name. It's Creedence Clearwater Revival. And they said, ah, oh, well, these guys will never go anywhere. So. so if a venue lasts for a couple of years, it's doing pretty well, right? Good Saturday night. You get a good Friday night, but what happens Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Uh, George is, is right now going through that problem. There was really about 10 years where everything was closing. If we don't teach music, it won't exist anymore. We need music. Music is a, um, a, a, an innate uh, language in human beings. And unfortunately, the uh, you know, Larkspur Cafe Theater went down, and the original Sweetwater went down, and Smokehouse in Nevada went down, and I'm hoping that people understand why they went down, and then somehow amongst themselves as a community understand that it's important to not let music venues go down. The truth of the matter is they don't survive unless people support them. Because regardless of the fact that we love music and people love to play in clubs and and you know the interaction of audience and performer is a known factor there is an infrastructure of business that can't be ignored music venues in Marin good <laughs>